welcome to my channel. My name is Kika and today I am doing a Moomin inspired lookbook. I practically grew up with the Moomin stories. The visual world of Tuvi Jansson is such a charming one and there's all these bright colors and the books were written from sort of the 40s, 50s and into the 60s and Tuvi Jansson actually lived really close by to where my family has a summer place. When I was visiting Finland last week I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use the location and do some outfits that are inspired by the Moomin aesthetics. The first outfit is inspired by the dress of Little Me and the apron of the Moomin Mama. I think this outfit just exactly looks like something you'd expect to find in a summer place in a drawer somewhere. Like it has that retro 60s vibe. So it's this bubblegum pink t-shirt that is very tight, has very sort of small sleeves and it has like a little bit of kind of a lace pattern but very very subtle. And then this red skirt has these pockets and it's like perfect sort of midi length. Um, I think this somehow embodies exactly that little feistiness of little me, but then it's still like this kind heart of the Moomin Mama. And those are two sides in myself also that I can somehow relate to, both exist in there. Fun fact, when I was a kid, my teacher would actually, uh, or in first grade, my teacher would call me little me. I think because maybe I am a little feisty and I talk very fast. To bring this outfit into 2019, I paired it with these gold earrings and then just a few simple necklaces. The next outfit is inspired by the Moomin Troll. Um, and now you might think, well, the Moomin Troll is actually naked. So I did have to take some creative liberties here and try to see what the Moomin Troll would wear if, well, he would be a girl <laughs> and wear clothes. Um, and I found this super cute little vintage style lace top and it just has so gorgeous details without them being sort of too overwhelming or exaggerated. Uh, it has like this little frill around the sleeve and the fabric is this kind of sheer and has like some small heart embroideries and then it has this collar and also a little bit of a lace around the collar and I really really like these kind of style tops like they're very sort of romantic but then you can pair them up in many different ways. Um, and this one, I like that it's not like too romantic and the frills aren't too big. I think that's really the key, so it doesn't become like too sort of Halloween costumey. And I paired it with this super retro vibe corduroy skirt, which is just like the perfect color for the Tove Jansson world. This casserole, I'm not completely sure what it does in this video, sort of from a narrative perspective. I just really love the color. Cooking would be so much more fun with a lime green casserole. All right, moving on to outfit number three, which is very loosely based on the Hemul. This dress I found from other stories and it's already my favorite dress. The color is just so freaking gorgeous. I love the details with the little buttons and the little frills uh, on the straps. And obviously, since Hemulen is a collector of flowers and things, I headed out to a swamp nearby uh, with my dress. And then I also had this sort of coat on, but uh, yes it off to sort of show you this whole dress in its full beauty. This swamp is uh, actually just behind sort of where our summer place is and it had been raining a lot because my boots got seriously stuck. Also note the nice little <laughs> rubber boots and uh, dress combo. I don't know, I think there's something quite nice in sort of combining something that is quite dressed up with something really sort of ruggedy and like country chic. Um, I think this dress, I'm gonna wear it a lot this summer um, just because it's so easy even though it is a little bit fancy but it's just gonna be, you know, to pair with some boots or with some sneakers. Already a favorite. Outfit number four is inspired by the Snork Maiden who I think from all the women characters is probably the one who also cares about the way she looks the most and is kind of the most vain to some extent. Uh, and for this one I chose a very comfortable and simple wrap dress. It comes like in a stretchy fabric and is in this gorgeous light blue tone. Again, really in tune with the Tove Jansson color palette. And it has this wrap dress silhouette, which I think is, you see just all over the place at the moment. And it is like very flattering for any body type, I think. And then it has these little kind of lacy details around the sleeves and also the neckline. And I just think this is gonna be one of those you know, summer days when you want to sort of look nice, but you really don't want to wear anything that is constricting. This is gonna be my go-to piece. You're good to go for that sort of effortless summer beachy vibe. The next outfit is inspired by Filip Jonkan, 
Um, that's how you say it in Swedish. I'm actually not sure how you pronounce that in English. And this is really the most retro outfit of them all. I really love this kind of combining two quite strong colors. And to show off this uh, amazing retro combination, uh, I did a little uh, dance move a display here out in nature. This is what having a dance master's degree will give you. <laughs> Moving on to the next outfit, that is a Snufkin inspired outfit. I really do not think Snufkin is a good English name for him. In Swedish he's Snusmumdeken, which I am much more comfortable with. Anyways, <laughs> so I went out again in the forest like a true Snufkin uh, on some adventures and I paired this uh, green jacket which is just really sort of utilitarian, it's cool and you know pairing that with a sort of feminine summer dress I think is just like the oh I just love this combination actually this summer dress is something made it myself a few years ago and I had forgot it uh, forgotten about in it and uh, found it in the summer place and took it out for a little spin and then I just paired it with just like some Converse uh, high tops and this is just such a good sort of classic summer outfit and there I stepped in some ants nests ah, love the nature and for the last outfit, this is sort of loosely inspired by the lighthouse keeper. I don't know if you remember him, but as a kid I always wanted like a yellow raincoat and this one comes pretty close. Uh, I really like it. It's kind of more sort of like a mustardy yellow. But this again one has like these very sort of retro vibes to me and is exactly sort of something you would wear out in the archipelago in the summer. I really like this kind of yellow. Usually it's kind of a difficult color I think to wear, but here it just works. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun going back to my roots and doing these movement inspired outfits. Uh, let me know your movement uh, memories or if you have no idea about the movement characters, then this must have been a very confusing uh, video for you. <laughs> let me know about that as well. And subscribe and like if you like this video and come hang out at Instagram. I'm over at Kutovakika and see you next time. Bye!